Bravo's all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Strong enough to take out the drone. Here they come. I'll handle this. Raiden, have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Chopper around. My friend, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are alright. It's time you got out of Denver. Alright, welcome back to Metal Gear Rising. In this video, you'll probably notice there's something a little different about Raiden. And by that I mean he's not Raiden. He is a uh, Gray Fox, Cyborg Ninja himself. This is probably the most overpowered costume and uh, sword in the game. What I am using right now is the uh, pre-order bonus I think from GameStop, 
which is, of course, the Grey Fox costume, and with it, you get the Fox Blade, which is probably the most powerful weapon in the game. I think what it does is it increases the, um, the power in slicing enemies in this game, so that's really, really cool. Raiden, are you alright? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. So this is the most probably pointless level in the game. It is very quick, you can beat it in about 7 minutes. There's actually a trophy for beating it in 7 minutes. But yeah, here's the Fox Blade. You can read the description, it talks about Grey Fox. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. This is one of those costumes that, you know, just like the Metal Gear Solid 4 outfit, I use this one a lot. And this area is actually pretty hard to do because of uh, all the geckos. It's kind of difficult to sneak around these guys. But yeah, you can beat this level really quickly. It really does not need to exist. There's almost no story reason for this level to exist. And, uh, I don't know, I would prefer if it wasn't really here. So I think what I'm going to do is stealth kill two of these and fight the last one normally. Ripper mode, biatch! And that, my friends, is the power of the Fox Blade. Thanks, Fox Blade! See what I did there? I made a joke, because Kaz says thanks, Fox Engine. Whatever. But yeah, we're, we're very close to the end of the game now. There's only this level, another really short level, and then uh, one last level. So uh, we're going to be done with this series by video 20, which is sad. I do really love this game, but hey. I don't know why I don't equip my Fox Blade. But yeah, going back to the last video where we fought Sundowner, I was convinced that we were at least going to fight Sam before we fought Sundowner, and I was convinced that Sundowner was going to be the final boss. So it's really surprising that we take him out, like, in the fourth to last level. Or third to last, I don't know. One of those. Boris, I get it. I love the ninja run, it's so useful. And of course there's a thing there. Do I really need to kill these dwarf gecko or are they really that big of a deal? That I can't progress until I kill them all? Yeah, I really don't like this level. It's like, we're backtracking through an area we've already been in, and it takes about seven minutes to do so, it's just this level does not need to exist. And they throw a lot of stuff at you, but it's still not like a big deal. Especially not while Grey Fox is on the case. But don't worry, the next level more than makes up for it. The next level is amazing. The Grey Fox- oh my god. The Grey Fox outfit looks so cool. I don't know if you can get this from the uh, PlayStation Network or Xbox Live uh, Marketplace. 
Uh, I got it from pre-ordering the game at GameStop. I have located a route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading on your solitude radar. Yeah, 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 Boris, whatever. I think there, yeah, there's a grad in this area. Please don't kill me. I wonder if it's possible to stealth kill a grad. Why'd you disobey the evacuation? I, I'm pretty positive it's going to be impossible to, yeah. I'm sure someone's done it. I'm going to have to look that up later if it's possible to stealth kill a grad. Let's see how good Gray Fox does against the, uh... The grad here. Yeah, see, it, um, pretty much the Fox Blade, it acts as Zandatsu without having to actually go into blade mode. Because it'll just rip things apart no matter what. It's really quite broken. Which is why I haven't used him up until this level. Because I feel like it's cheating. And that's that. That's, I think, the quickest we've defeated a grad so far. Right. I will join you in Pakistan. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. That tree would be there, wouldn't it? Where'd he go? There he is. Uh, after this little encounter here, we're pretty much going to be done. I think I got that, uh... Yeah, I think I got the APC as well. Overall, not a, not a terrible level. Like, it is short. Oh my god, slow down. Holy crap. But yeah, um... It's not the worst level in the game. It's short... It's kind of repetitive because, you know, you've already been through this area. And story-wise, it doesn't really make sense. I think they probably could have actually just, you know, transitioned from the opening cutscene to the ending cutscene. And it would have been perfectly fine. And they could have just led right into the next level. But, I mean, this game is already short enough as it is. So, I guess throwing a new level in here isn't the worst thing that they could have done. But, I would have preferred either a longer level or just this level to not exist. Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely.